Welcome to the Level Up Leader Podcast. This is the podcast that ignites your leadership potential and helps you to lead your teams to greatness. I'm your host, Michael King. I'm an executive coach for visionaries who are ready to take their teams to the next level. Today, we have an incredible episode in store for you filled with insights, personal stories, and a dash of humor. Hello leaders, I'm thrilled to have you here joining me on this journey of personal growth and professional excellence. Today I want to share with you two powerful reminders that will propel you towards your fullest potential. So let's dive right in. The first reminder is to be unshakable. Picture this, you wake up in the morning and see a sticky note on your mirror with the words be unshakable written boldly. It's a simple yet powerful mantra that resonates within you. It reminds you that your energy is precious and finite. So instead of allowing external forces to shake your resolve, you protect your energy like a fierce guardian. Now, let me share with you a personal story. A few years ago, I faced a challenging situation that really tested my spirit. I was working with a team that had experienced a major setback and the atmosphere was heavy with disappointment and doubt, frustration. I had been here before. This space was way too familiar for me. I had failed this scenario so many times that I completely lost count. So this time, I decided to rely on something completely different. I refused to let negativity permeate my mindset. I nurtured the unshakable resolve that I have and focused on leading my team with grace and with determination. Now, it wasn't easy, but by guarding my energy and remaining solid, I was able to cultivate resilience within myself and inspire my team to bounce back. Remember, the power to remain unshakable resides within you. Protect your energy, channel it personally, and fuel your aspirations with unwavering belief. Now on to our second reminder, it's simply this, it's the 80% rule. Now embrace the 80% rule. All that perfectionism, it's a blessing and it's a curse, right? But we all strive for excellence, but sometimes we find ourselves trapped in a never ending cycle of overanalyzing and obsessing over inconsequential details. Can you relate? Well, it's time to break free from this self-imposed prison. Now imagine this, you're in the middle of a project and instead of aiming for perfection, you embrace the power of 80%. You understand that the majority of progress and impact can be achieved by exerting 80% of your effort. Now by shifting your perspective, you liberate yourself from unnecessary burdens and you find joy in progress rather than unattainable perfection. Now let's be honest, the final 20% has very little chance of giving you the ROI that you've spent with time and energy that you summon to get it to your perfection according to your standards, right? So let me inject a touch of humor in here. Now I, I once had a, a, an, a client who was absolutely brilliant, but she struggled with perfectionism. Everything had to be flawless, like everything meticulous, like down to the dotted I's and the cross T's and everything the way it was arranged. I'm pretty sure that if you looked in her closet, everything was alphabetized and, and color coded, for example, right? Now, everything had to be flaws, which caused unnecessary delays and stifled her team's creativity. Now, we worked together to embrace this 80% rule. It was a new concept for her. It stretched her. In fact, at first, it even offended her. But soon enough, she discovered the joy of completion, the freedom to move swiftly, and the ability to tackle bigger challenges directly. So leaders, I encourage you to envision a future where you operate at 80%, where you embrace the joy of freedom that comes from progress. I challenge you to break free from the chains of perfectionism and watch as your productivity soars and your fulfillment grows. Now, let's talk about how the 80% rule can be also applied to how you delegate and how you raise up the next generation of leaders. As leaders, we often struggle with delegation because we feel that no one can meet our standards of excellence. We want everything to be perfect and we fear that our team members might not be able to deliver our expectations. 
This is really dangerous. I can't stress this enough, this fear. This fear can lead to micromanaging and a lack of trust, which ultimately hinders productivity and growth. Now, your decision to not delegate compromises the productivity of the organization, and I want you to understand that and feel that. And in turn, it actually exposes a significantly deeper issue rooted directly in your leadership. By embracing the 80% rule, we can free ourselves from this perfectionism and empower our team members to take ownership of their responsibility instead of striving for 100%. We can aim for 80% and trust that our team members will deliver their best work within that framework. We release it at 80% and then we watch them grow it to pass to what we were able to contribute in the first place. This not only saves time and energy, but it allows us to focus on more strategic and high level tasks. Ultimately, it does get down to like with the thing that we're supposed to be doing as leaders in the first place, not just managing projects, but developing people. Delegating at 80% also expands our impact as leaders. When we trust and empower our team members, we allow them to grow and develop in their skill set. This creates a ripple effect of productivity and innovation throughout the whole organization. By delegating effectively, we can leverage the strengths of our team and achieve more collectively than we ever could do it alone. So if you're struggling with delegation, try applying this 80% rule. Start small by delegating tasks that don't require your full attention and gradually build trust within your team members. Now remember, the goal is progress. It's not perfection. It never has been in the first place. By letting go of the need to control everything, you'll open up new opportunities for growth and for impact. Now, as we come to a close today, I want to leave you with these two fundamental principles. Cultivate your unshakable resolve and protect your energy as a precious resource. Do you feel that? Embrace the joy and freedom that also comes by operating within the 80% and experience the transformative power it actually holds. Now, remember, the more subscriptions that we have, the better the episodes become. So if you enjoyed today's episode and want to dive deeper into the world of leadership excellence, make sure to like and subscribe to this podcast on your preferred streaming services like YouTube, Spotify, or Apple Music. Now, and don't forget to visit www.teams.coach to subscribe to our mailing list where you'll receive exclusive content and updates. You can also reach out to me personally about one-on-one coaching team coaching, or even having me visit for a team event or a keynote at one of your conferences. I'd love to connect with you and help you unlock your full potential. Thank you for joining me today on the Level Up Leader. Remember, your journey is to become the best version of yourself, and it starts now. Until next time, keep leveling up and leading with purpose.